it's five years in the making and we finally have the sequel to the Hollywood Godzilla movie that first came out in 2014 so it's been a pretty long wait. The first Godzilla movie if all of you remember it was criticized by a lot for not having enough Godzilla screen time there was not a lot of uh, kaiju fights with Godzilla so they pretty much fixed all the complaints that fans had with the first movie and this movie, you will get a non-stop battle royale with Godzilla vs all the kaijus. From start to finish, it's non-stop action, which is pretty fun for fans like me. And of course, this is quite different from the way how the Japanese makes their uh, Godzilla movie, right? Because Japanese ones uh, tend to be more focused on storytelling, talking about how uh, the effects of human nuclear testing is destroying the environment and as a result, Godzilla wrecks havoc back into civilization. But this time around, Godzilla 2019, you know, uh, King of Monsters, there are no long screenplay about this. So that's pretty much kept to a bare minimum. And with this movie being almost 2 hours long, I think it's more than 120 minutes, there's actually not a lot of screenplay or time to build any of the characters that you see on this movie because they are all pretty new except with the exception of Ken Watanabe everyone is new you've never heard of them you've never seen them but there's not a lot of time to focus to develop any of the characters which to me it's fine because to me uh, the human characters are really pretty much secondary next to the kaiju the Godzilla and all the different kaijus is really what you're here for you just want to see the amazing CGI's that's made for the kaiju so what is better than looking at all the kaiju fights you know uh, of course, the, it's not just Godzilla versus all the different kaijus. The different kaijus will also fight among themselves. I'm not going to give any spoilers here. The better things, I mean the best things other than the kaiju fights are actually how each and every one of the kaiju uh, enters the fray. How they actually uh, you know, emerge from the earth or from their hiding place. It's actually quite an amazing spectacle and truly an amazing showcase of how big and terrifying the kaijus are as we've never seen them before. So I would say that the director actually made an amazing uh, way to introduce each and every different kaijus that really gives you the sense of scale and size of all the different kaijus. And it kind of made us think about how maybe this is what Pacific Rim 2 should have been. I think if Pacific Rim 2 have gotten some of the cues of how they introduce the kaijus and the kaiju fights from this movie Godzilla King of Monsters, I think Pacific Rim would have been so much better. Uh, lastly, I just want to talk about the soundtrack. What I really like about this movie is the soundtrack is pretty much decent, but they've kept the main soundtrack of the Godzilla, you know, da 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 only at the end towards the climax. Unlike if you remember, if you watch Avengers Endgame, you know, they played the uh, soundtrack, signature soundtrack way too often in that movie. So that's just my personal grab in the Avengers Endgame. So for us, um, I think Godzilla King of Monsters is definitely worthwhile to watch. It's different from all the different Godzilla's movies that we have seen before. You know, there's no long conversation, dialogue plays. There's just non-stop actions between the humans and the kaijus and also between Godzilla and all the different kaijus it's really an amazing spectacle of non-stop battle royale that I think fans will really appreciate like myself and if you're wondering hey should I stick uh, after the movie ends is there a post credit scene the answer is yes so do wait for the post credit scene I know the movie is already long enough it's 2 hours long but do wait for the post credit scene it'll be worth it okay so for us um one out of ten, ten being the best, I would say this movie is a nine for us. It's not because of the great storytelling, uh, it's not because of the dialogue, but the entire Godzilla and Kaiju fights, the entire CGI spectacle of it is just really amazing. It's so much better than the first Godzilla movie that we've seen. I would highly recommend this to Godzilla fans and of course family with young kids. I think they would definitely love this. You've never seen the Kaijus in this line before. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you love what we're putting out here.